Hello, hello howdy, welcome everyone to another fantastic Fuji upload, my band-aid is coming off. I nicked my finger in the fucking shower and it just hasn't stopped bleeding. And this band-aid fucking sucks, I mean I'm- who cares? It's a Plants for Zombies video. Today, we are making a second video on Electro P. I know a bunch of people are definitely going to be thrilled about that. I did want to revisit some characters, especially because I am restarting the game once again. And Electro P has to just be the first character in line because this was the first character to start the Is a Problem series. Whenever I first made Electro P as a problem, I didn't even know that it was going to turn into a series. But that video popped the flip off, and a bunch of people wanted different character specific videos. So that's where we started with the Is a Problem series. I've been playing playing a little bit of Electro P, I got him elite level 7, and I don't think I've dropped below like 40 kills with Electro P so far. This character is just so fucking stupidly brain dead. Also, we are using the one and only everlasting crown. I did go ahead and buy that on stream, I, I don't really know why, it's actually extremely annoying. Yeah, this hat fucking sucks. I've used this hat like a total of four times, so I haven't really got the whole Everlasting Crown experience yet. Now, if you somehow don't know how Electro P is a top tier character, let me go ahead and demonstrate. Normal P shooters just have normal shots, which are just like little P balls that he shoots and they do a good amount of damage. The thing is with Electro P, he can choose to detonate his shots at any time that he would like. On top of that, he has chain lightning, which means that if there's two zombies close to each other, if I only shoot one of them, the other one will also take some damage. As you can see right there, you just seen like a little bit of a lightning chain go across the two zombies. Okay, these guys are just going to let me stay here and get all the kills. And the thing that really makes manual detonation extremely broken is the fact that you don't even have to hit your enemy to actually hit the detonation shots. What a fucking imp punt. I feel like everyone knows why Electro P is broken nowadays. But in case you didn't, those are the reasons. You don't have to aim with his shots. He still does very good damage. He has chain lightning. He has every single perk of a pea shooter. If you don't know, pea shooter is the best class in the game. I can confidently say that pea shooter is objectively the best class. People will obviously have conflicting opinions, but trust me, pea shooter is the best. Like, look at this. I'm just threading it through that, and I'm still getting 27 fucking damage a shot. Another thing that Electro P has, I don't know why they just overtune this character so much. He is the fastest bait. You're in the corner, aren't you? Fuck. Like, I. Jesus Christ. He has the fastest base movement speed out of any pea shooter. On top of having manual detonation and chain lightning and all the perks of a normal pea shooter, he also has the fastest base mobility out of all the pea shooters. And another thing that he also has, he has one of the fastest, I don't know if it's the fastest, he has one of, if not the fastest reload in the entire game. Now he gets two reload upgrades and his base reload is already faster than most other pea shooters. So EP has manual detonation, the fastest base movement speed out of all the pea shooters in the entire game. He has chain lightning on his primary and the combination of chain lightning on his primary plus manual detonation makes it incredibly easy to hit multiple zombies. The fastest base movement speed out of any imp. I don't know if I said that one already. All the normal perks of a pea shooter. So, you know, just like some of the best abilities in the entire game. And one of the fastest reloads in the entire game. This character has fucking everything you could ask for. I was missing with Electro P there. Did you die? Thank you. Why is no one killing me? I'm just like in here just getting a fuck ton of damage done, fuck ton of kills. Oh, there's an AC Perry right fucking behind me. What was that audio? I don't think Garden Warfare 2 is known for having great audio. Dr. Toxic. I'm just gonna kill you because I hate the variant that you're playing. Look at that. Winning a close range battle against a scientist. I mean, he's playing Dr. Fucking Toxic, to be fair. Why are you rezzing him? Silly guy. You not know I'm playing the one and only Electro P. Join this game late and I already have the most eliminations. This is the average game on Electro P. It makes a noise when you fucking spawn consumables. Yeah, this hat sucks. I actually think the Everlasting Crown is one of the best looking cosmetics in the whole game. Just, you know, the narration gets a little boring after a while. Another thing that Pea Shooter has compared to a lot of other classes, Pea Shooter has a lot of different tech you can use. We all know bean jumping and bean riding where you just use hyper and the bean bomb in order to ride or just jump really high. You can also bean ride without hyper. That's not really a tech that I have down though. There's also a tech where you can shoot, bean bomb shoot, and it pretty much doubles your fire rate. Now, obviously you do lose a bean 
Bean Bomb in exchange for another primary shot, so it is incredibly situational. But that's just like another tech that this character has. Pea Shooter has so much fucking tech to him. Let's see if I can demonstrate it kind of did there it's a lot harder on manual detonation characters if we could drop like a nice 60 kill game that'd be cool on my breakfast brains bitty on my breakfast brains bitty on the breakfast brains video i can't even fucking on the breakfast brains video i just wasn't able to get that sentence out in that video there was a lot of comments of people not thinking that breakfast brains is the worst super brains which was really surprising i thought a lot of people acknowledged that breakfast brains was just not very good i mean i don't think any super brains are really that bad like breakfast brains in my opinion is the worst super brains but i know there's a lot of people who think cause is really bad i think that cosmic is the most like controversial character in this entire game oh there's so many zombies here come on don't kill me oh double bean bomb i just keep getting kills this character is so fucking stupid this guy takes care of imps for a fucking living electro p is the genuine imp police considering that his manual detonation shots make it almost impossible to miss and each one does 27 damage so you have a guaranteed 27 damage per shot hit on an imp kills him fucking instantly I'm gonna chuck that bean bomb there and you're gonna die right what there we go Oh, you just use your ZPG, pal. Unlucky. Don't run into the train. Just let me kill you. Okay, why am I missing with Electro P? 40 HP in a dream. Fuck it, Weeball. The peak gameplay with Electro P is just watching someone just spray into nothing and still getting fucking kills. That's all I'm doing. I'm just spraying into the objective trying to time my detonation shots and I'm, I'm just racking up these fucking kills at the moment mm, stun yeah the stun's rough are we just taking this with three minutes left i mean like i'd try to get a higher kill game but i don't really give a shit to be honest we're on a nine kill streak this guy will hopefully make it 10 there we go maybe if i can sweep up this astronaut i can get 11 there we go. I'm gonna wait for my hyper to come back. I'm just gonna go right up here. Yeah, this guy. There we go. 12 kill streak. We can just keep it going, guys. 45 kills right now. Average game on Electro P. I joined late, by the way. I joined on the second objective. I don't even care to get high kills this game. I want to see how long we can keep this vanquish streak going for. My highest vanquish streak on Xbox right now is 20. So if we can get higher than 20, that'd be sick. With Electro P, if you have high... Oh... Trying to ruin my fucking streak. Oh, it might be over. Quick move! God, why, bro? Perfectly in my way. I'm not even gonna let you fucking revive me. Well, that's annoying. No fucking way I got the glitch. If you don't know, sometimes whenever you pop hyper, it'll just crash your fucking game. We were at 45 kills on the last objective. This could have easily been a 60 kill game. I also would have got a nice 10,000 coins for finishing that Team Vanquish match, but I'll just go fuck myself, I guess. Now we have to sit through this awfully long loading time. If you go to settings and you load back into Garden Warfare 2, it also loads faster. I've also been told that if you have your friends list out, it also loads quicker. I mean, regardless, loading times are still fucking outrageous. I've noticed that bug happens significantly more on Xbox than PC. I was told that that it happens whenever you reload then instantly pop hyper but i've tested it and sometimes you can just pop hyper and your game will crash there was one day where i was leveling up reg p and every other game i got that fucking crash it was so annoying reg p took so much longer than he should have because my game just kept fucking crashing we're still loading by the way like it's been like um, two minutes now or some shit we are still fucking loading i'm gonna go to settings again thank you holy stromboli we're gonna go promote him to super elite by the way i don't know if i told y'all but i gave up on that super elite thing I really just didn't care to keep it going. It was more annoying having a character super elite level 10 than mastered. We got 117 grand. What are we going to get from these packs? Dog shit, go next. Next one, let's go. Something good. A legendary, perhaps? Piece of super commando. We're only 2 out of 5 on super commando, so we're not going to be getting him anytime soon. chomp thing that was a great use of 117 grand but i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to like and subscribe all that good stuff but yeah until next time sayonara also you may have noticed in this video that the mic sounded very very fucking loud my windows microphone settings were set to 100 percent when they're normally at 71 so it does make quite the difference the mic definitely sounds significantly worse when it's just cranked up to 100 percent i didn't notice that till after i was done filming and i don't want to record this whole video again so next video the mic will be fixed this video would just sounded very fucking loud anyways sayonara